Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. We're going to do something a little different on this video. What I want to do is I want to grade your wives and girlfriends. And I want us to figure out, are you just a needy person? You don't like change? Or is she really like a great benefit to you in your life? So what we gonna do is we gonna go over some things and we gonna grade your girl slash wife. If you got a girlfriend, she live with you. Uh, if she don't, I mean, it's, it's kind of different. It, it don't matter as much, but if she lives with you and y'all planning to get married or you are already married. So let's grade. Number one, how many arguments do you have? How many arguments do you have? If you have a lot, minus a point. If you don't argue that much, um, or you argue as, as you doing something boneheaded that's kind of like provoking her, uh, we lead a score the same. Number two, is she a highly sexual woman towards you? If, okay, watch this, watch this. Does she have a strong sexual desire where she initiates it at least half the time? Or does she talk about who's cute as far as other guys more? Which one? Does she speak positively about other guys more than she initiates sex with you? Okay. Next. Do you wash her clothes more or does she wash your clothes more? And if she washes your clothes, does she do it with a lot of complaints, a little complaints, or no complaints? Next thing, what does she do for you right now that you couldn't do for yourself? If you live by yourself, what does she do for you right now that you couldn't do for yourself if you lived by yourself? Y'all see the pattern? Y'all see the pattern? This, see, this is going to show you if you got a unicorn or you got a strife or you got a future strife. If y'all are going together. Next, have you ever found emails, text messages, pictures, DMs that would suggest that she cheated or wants to cheat? Y'all see this pattern, right? See, this is going to show you what you're dealing with. See, if you leave it to these preachers, you leave it to these young dudes who don't even know because they ain't never been in a long-term relationship like that, then you're going to get like a false picture of what a woman's supposed to be. That's one thing the older guys in this space have on the younger guy. The younger guys just be talking like, and some of the stuff that they say don't describe a meaningful relationship with a woman. Hold on, my screen went black. Give me a second. Give me a second. Keep my eyes on the road. Y'all know I learned how to do things without even looking. So, that's the next thing. Okay. Next. <laughs> Do she ever talk about who want, who wants her, who likes her, or who she could get with if y'all broke up? Do you see the pattern yet? See, a lot of y'all, if you listen to other people or if you listen to these women, 
you setting yourself up for the okie doke. So let's go back. Let's say you got a woman. You doing everything for her, but she not going out of the way for you. You done already caught her cheating or, or you done caught her flirting or something like that. Her sex is unenthusiastic or not at all. Do. Do yourself a favor. If you don't have a unicorn, if you don't have a woman that is the total opposite of the negative characteristics that I mentioned, run. Run because you're going to lose these years. Next thing. Which, which does she do more? Does she bring in money or throw out money? Does she spend more than she brings in? Does she bring in anything? What does she do or what ideas does she have that create wealth? Y'all yeah, see this, man. See, and, and it's, it's really sad because people sometimes... Sometimes some of these people be nice people, but and they just, you know, if you, let's say you like me, and let's say you're an ambitious guy with all of these plans, and your girl does more to try to talk you out of it than to help you get it done. Dude, I'm telling you, when you broke, when you broke, when the end of the result is you broke, you mediocre or, or below mediocrity. She's not going to stop or she's not going to hold up on her criticism. So if you haven't married her yet and she and you got to do everything for her, she way more than she do for you. Your sex life ain't all that no more. She's argumentative, she's contentious, she's flirtatious, over friendly with guys. Do yourself a favor and dump this broad before you end up divorced. Before you end up going half of your life. Because some of these women, they'll slow roll you. Like the whole time, they'll have notions within themselves at 25, 30 years later. It came out. Think if you would have caught it before the 25 years. Think if you would have caught it in the first two years of dealing with her and you could dump her and do your thing. See, this is why this space is so valuable. I don't care what nobody say. Yes, there's a lot of grifters, but this space is very valuable because guys' lives are being saved. You got to be careful who you listen to with this stuff because they'll throw labels out there. But if you listen to them, you're going to get caught up. You're going to get caught up, man. You just got to have charisma. You just got to have a savvy. You just got to. And they only 23 years old, man. Get out of here, man. You too young. You telling dudes this is what this is what a lot of guys is doing. They young, right? They have an experience, long-term relationship that ends up in a divorce or a breakup after many years. So they'll tell you, man, man, he just hating, man. He just know he ain't got this, he ain't got that. He just, he, he probably need Viac. Man, dude, go sit your young rhymes with grass down. Go sit down, man. I don't care what your education level is. There's some things that you don't learn in school. And that's how women really get down. You're not going to learn that in school. You're going to learn that with time and with experience. You're going to learn that. See, young dudes, when they get rejected, it's like, oh, man, it ain't nothing, man. You know, because they got nothing but time. And they waste their time trying to chase a nut that's going to be the same as the last nut and the nut before that. So in the process of doing these things, 
they years go by and now they're 38 with three kids paying child support on three kids because you was too arrogant to listen when you had guys like me trying to warn you though if those things describe your girl and I, I could keep going y'all want me to keep going y'all want me to keep going you can't can you play the vid can, can you play game you've been playing video games your whole life can you play the game in peace can you play the game in peace is she a gamer or is she one of them girls like the videos we see that try to throw your game outside? <laughs> Do you know how much these games cost? Ain't no way we should be dealing with somebody throwing that game outside. Be careful with these relationships, man. Be careful, man, because look, there's other ways to get that human wrench out. This other way than for you to put your neck on the line with a person that you don't even know what they've been through in their life because they ain't going to tell you everything. They ain't going to tell you everything. You find out as you go, and it's not a pretty sight. You find out things as you go. Not fun, dude. I'm telling you. So, you guys that's single, just remember, loneliness is an evil emotion that comes from the devil. The devil wants to, uh, wants to steal, kill, and destroy your time and your life with meaningless pursuits that end in a negative fashion. You should be serving the most high getting your money right and learning how to vet and taking it slow without if you do mar get married don't do it with the marriage license and then that way if she start acting different you can dump her you can but in most states your wife could be practically is practically trying to get you arrested or, or shoot you or some other evil and you can't even finalize the divorce at minimum for 120 days yet alone if she contested you when you get married you don't even have rights to yourself when you get legally married you can't just oh, i'm out of here because all she had to do is go to court and then most of these judges gonna take her side and it's weird next question did you have more fun when you when you were single or when you married? We ain't lying. If you lying, you ain't gonna heal. Ain't no lying. Which one is it? Which one is it? I can answer that for you. If y'all be arguing a lot, you had more fun when you were single. I remember when I was single, I went home and I went to sleep or I watched TV and it was quiet. It was very quiet. A lot of time when you marry, you'll fight, right? You'll be arguing and fight, have a real nasty argument. And she'll go to sleep and be snoring and you can't sleep because you're too mad. Then you have to still get up in the morning, stop, do listen. Y'all better be listening to the right people. Then you still have to get up and work. You still have to get up and work. Or what about this one? Your wife is at home. Y'all got young kids, right? Y'all got newborns. And you getting up with her but you still got to go to work. I'm telling you, dude, you better know what you really want. Be careful what you wish for 
And that's the last thing I'm going to say on this video. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel.